By 1910, France had yet to land on a single dreadnought battleship. Britain had by then completed 10 dreadnoughts and 5 battlecruisers, with 8 and 3 more of the two types respectively under construction. Germany had built 8 dreadnoughts and 1 battlecruiser, and the United States had built 6 and 4 more building. Later that year, the French Navy laid down the first of four Corbett class ships to remedy the interfere inferiority of the French fleet. The government passed the Statut Naval on the 30th of March 1912, authorizing a force of 28 battleships to be in service by 1920. The first three ships were to be laid down in 1912. The Burton Tang class were re replacements for the battleships Carnot, Charles Martel, and Liberty. They were developed from the Corbett class and were built with the same hulls. The primary reason for the decision was to use the same hull design as the Corbett class with was limitations of French shipyards. The Corbett class ships were the largest possible ships that, that could fit on existing dockyards and refitting basins. The Superior Naval Council ordered the construction department to prepare designs for a 23,500 metric ton ship armed with 12 340mm or 13.4 inch guns and 6 twin gun turrets. The additional weight of the 340mm turrets compared it to the 305mm or 12 inch of the Corbett class ships, imposed insurmountable problems for the designers. To incorporate six turrets with the same armament of the earlier vessels, with four on the center line in supervising pairs and two wing turrets amidships would have required an additional 30,000 metric tons displacement as well as a significant increase in the length of the hull. After several other proposals, the Superior Naval Council chose a design with five twin turrets all mounted on the center line. This would achieve the same broadside of tank guns despite the reduction in the number of guns. The width of the armor belt was reduced to 20 millimeters or 0 0.79 inches to in compensate for the increased weight of the main battery. Providence was the first ship of the class to be laid down, which she was on the 21st of May 1912 at the Arsenal D. Warrant. Burton Peng was laid down at the Arsenal de Brest shipyard in Brest on the 22nd of July 1912. Lorraine, our ship of today's video, followed at the Artineers et Charstern de la Torre shipyard in St. Nazare. Almost six months later, on the 7th of November 1912, due to the outbreak of the First World War, in the summer of 1914, French industri industrial capacity was redacted to the army and work slowed on the ships. The Greek Navy ordered the battleship to be named the Vassal Constantos to the same design from A.C. D.S.T. Nazarite de Poet or Follet. Work began in June of 1914, but seized on the outbreak of war in August and never resumed. The contract dispute was settled in 1925. Warren, the final ship to be commissioned, was 166 meters or 544 feet 7 inches long overall and had a beam of 26.9 meters or 88 feet 3 inches and a full load draft of 9.8 meters or 32 feet 2 inches. She displaced 23,230 metric tons as designed.
and around 25,000 metric tons at full load, and had a crew of between 1,124 men and 1,133 officers and enlisted men. She was powered by four Parison steam turbines with 24 uh, GPU t d Temple water tube boilers. They were rated at 29,000 shaft horsepower and provided a top speed of 20 knots. Coal storage amounted to 2,680 tons, which provided a range of 7 th or 4,700 nautical miles at 10 knots. Warning's main battery consisted of 10 340mm 45 Moldy 1912 guns mounted in 5 twin gun turrets numbered from front to rear. They were placed all on the center line. Two were in a super firing pair forward, one in midships, and the last two in a super firing arrangement aft. As completed, however, the admitships turret did not have its guns installed until January of 1917. The secondary battery consisted of 22 Canon D 138mm Moldy 1910 guns in casemates along the length of the hull. She also carried 7 47mm 1.9 inch Hold kiss guns, two in the conning tower and one on the roof of each gun turret. The ship was also armed with four submerged at 450mm 17.7 inch torpedo tubes. The ship's main belt was 270mm or 10.6 inches thick, and the main armor deck was 40mm or 1.6 inches thick. The main battery was protected by up to 30 or 300 millimeters or 11.8 inches of armor on the turrets and the casemates for the secondary guns were 170 millimeters or 6.7 inches thick. The conning tower had 314 millimeters or 12.4 inch thick sides. We're in was ordered on the 15th of July, 1912, as a replacement for the battleship Liberty, which had been destroyed by a magazine explosion the previous year. She was laid down at the Chantiers de Poti shipyard in St. Nazare on the 1st of August, 1912, and launched on the 30th of September, 1913. She was commissioned into the French Navy on the 10th of March, 1916. After entering service in 1916, Lorraine and her sisters were assigned to the 1st Division of the 1st Battle Squadron. The three ships remained in the unit for the remainder of World War I. They spent the majority of their time at Corfu to prevent the Austro-Hungarian fleet from attempting to break out of the Adriatic. The fleet's presence was also intended to intimidate Greece, which had becoming increasingly hostile to the triple is teen. Later in the war, men were drawn from the crews for anti-submarine warfare vessels, as the Austro-Hungarians largely remained in port for the duration of the war. Lorraine saw no action during the conflict. In 1917, she returned to Tolo for a periodic refit, but part from the voyage, she saw no time at sea for the rest of the year. In January of 1919, she went to Cantoro, where she guarded the former Austro-Hungarian Navy. She assisted in reparting Austro-Hungarian naval personnel and escorted former Austro-Hungarian warships to France and Italy. This duty lasted until March. The French Navy intended to send a Lorraine and her sister's provenance to the Black Sea to join operations against the Boscolodias. But a major mutiny prevented the operation. The two ships went to Constantinople in October 1919, where they formed the core of the Eastern Mediterranean Squadron, which operated until July of 1922. 
Lorraine underwent her first refit t- starting in, on the 10th of November 1921, which lasted until the 4th of December 1922. After emerging from refit, Lorraine was placed in reserve due to the uh, fiscal limitations in the post war French Navy. She returned to service the following year, 1923, with the first. Uh, Battleship Division of the Mediterranean Fleet. Lorraine was modernized for a second time between the 15th of November 1924 and the 4th of August 1926. A third refit took followed on the 17th of September 1929 and lasted until the 6th of June 1931. During these periods in dock, the range of the main battery was increased, and the anti-aircraft battery was strengthened, as well as the boilers were replaced with newer, oil-fired models. Between the 18th of September 1934 and the 20th of September 1935, a fourth and final pre-war refit was carried out in Brest. Lorraine's admidships turret was removed, and an aircraft catapult along with a hangar for three aircraft were installed. The aircraft was intentionally, or initially, Gorton Lachier, or the GL-819, and Poltz-452 seaplanes, though they were later replaced by Lorry 130 flying boats. In 1936, Lorraine was transferred to the Atlantic Squadron, where she remained until the outbreak of World War II in September of 1939. At the start of the Second World War, Lorraine served primarily in the Western Mediterranean as a flagship of Force X under Vice Admiral Goldfair. On the 4th of December, Lorraine operated out of Casablanca against the German surface forces along with the cruisers Algier, Le Grassinier, and Marchielli, and several destroyers and submarines. During this period, she carried a shipment of gold bullion from the French treasury to Burma. On the 1st of January 1944, 1940, she was transferred to the 2nd Battleship Division of the 1st Squadron and went into Dreadock for refit, which lasted until April. On the 27th of April, Lorraine and her two sisters, Providence and Burton Tong, were transferred to Alexandria. On the 10th of June, Italy declared war on France. By that time, both at Burton Tang and Providence had moved back to the Western Mediterranean. Lorraine was the only French battleship in the Eastern Mediterranean, though she was joined by four British battleships and an aircraft carrier. On the night of the 20th and the 21st of June, Lorraine formed the center of the Angle French Task Force with cruisers HMS Neptune, Orion, and Achilles, for a bombardment of the Italian positions at Bardia. The operation, which caused only minimal damage, was the was the last combined French and British naval operation before the French surrender. Following the French surrender, the French commander, Vice Admiral Goldfee, concluded an agreement with Admiral Andrew Cunningham to demilitarize and intern the French ships in Alexandria. This included Lorraine, four cruisers, and three destroyers. In December of 1942, the ship's crew decided to join the Allies in the Free French Naval Force, and so Lorraine was placed back into service. On the 3rd of July, 1943, the ship left Suez and sailed around Africa to Dakar, stopping in Cape Town. On the way, after arriving on the 12th of October, she was used briefly as a training ship. On the 2nd of December, Lorraine was sent to Oran for refitting. The, sh- the work included removing the aircraft facilities and installing a large number of anti-aircraft guns, including eight 75mm 3.0 
inch guns, 14 40 millimeter or 1.6 inch guns, and 25 20 millimeter or 0.79 inch guns. Radar equipment was also installed on the ship. The overhaul ready to were made to participate in Operation Dragon, the Allied invasion of southern France in August of 1944. On the 15th of August, Warren joined the Bombardment Force, Task Force Sent 86, that supported landings. She and the American battleship USS Nevada hammered German defenses in and around Tolan, including 400 or including 340 millimeter coastal guns that had been removed from Providence. The bombardment lasted until the 26th. 1st of August, over the course of the 1st through the 13th of September, Lorraine, four cruisers, and two destroyers shelled German defenses throughout the French Riviera. Among the targets Lorraine attacked were fortresses at Tissipol and Castillon, along with access positions around Carpin and St. Torpets. Lorraine left the bombardment area on the 17th of September, but remained in the Western Mediterranean until she was sent to Portsmouth for a brief refit following the end of the year. She was then sent to Charlesburg in December. In late March of 1945, Warren left Charlesburg to participate in her final wartime operations, codename Variable and Vermeil. In the operations, which took place in April, the French Navy focused on eliminating a pocket of German resistance in Gordandy. On the 14th through the 20th of April, Lorraine and several cruisers and destroyers bombarded the German Gordy Nord fortress in Rouen in support of an attack by the French 10th Division and American 66th Division. The German defenders surrendered on the 20th. After completing the operation, Lorraine returned to Brest before being sent to Tolan, starting in February of 1947. She was used as a stationary gunnery training ship, where she was used as a barrack ship until she was stricken from the naval register on the 17th of February, 1953. She was sold in the... Uh, 18th of December to a French shipbreaking company and towed to Bernagon outside Tolan on the in January of 1954 and broke up for scrap. You know, it's actually quite funny. I'm looking back on the information that I was going off of for this video and it it's actually pretty interesting for many. Um, and I hope you guys found that as well during this video. Um, Lorien is not a ship that is well known. Unlike um, other ships in the French Navy such as the Richard Class, the Jean Bart, or the Dunker. Or even the Strasbourg. But she does hold a spot in many. Um... A thing that I need to note here is that this was not a ship that I found. It was actually a ship that was suggested to me by a um, member in my Discord server, which you guys can find a link to down below. And because I was asking for some ship suggestions, and he came and he came and said, "How about the Orin?" So that's actually today's video. <laughs> Um, something that, um, I would like to keep note of is that I know, um, not everything in this video was said correctly, and I do apologize. I'm not very good with, um, pronouncing French, um, names or places or stuff like that. Pretty much anything French I'm not very good with. Um, I, I know that's probably uncanny to a lot of you guys, and I do apologize. But what um, I would like to keep note of is that I did try um, to give you guys the best information that I can on this ship, especially with how little information there is. 
Um, if you guys would like to actually captain this ship, you can actually find it in War Thunder. No, it is not sponsored, sponsored or anything like that. Um, you can actually find, but you can find it, um, in War Thunder on the French naval tech tree. Um, but with that, um, again, I would like to give a big thank you to, um, R9. Um, I'll leave the full channel name, or his full channel name, and a link to his channel down in the description. Um, so you can go check him out, but he is the one who gave me the idea for this one. Um, but with that being said, I hope you'll all enjoy today's video. Um, please, um, go hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future content. And hit the like button, of course, if you guys did enjoy it, or hit the dislike button if you guys didn't. Um, please leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions, concerns, or requests for the matter, or anything like that. Um, I love hearing your guys' feedback and stuff like that. And um, with that being said, I thank everybody for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.